For me, digital humanities is an interdisciplinary field of research and technological development that aims to provide technological digital solutions for the humanities and create new knowledge through computational methods. I think that digital humanities should be understood as open humanities. And not just openness to scholars, but openness to the public as a whole. And it's not a surprise that we're here in this building that has a rich history of public lectures for the society. It helps to find uh, connections, common points and uh, crossroads where they could not uh, be seen before. Digital humanities is a way to build virtual bridges. In the Digital Humanities Center, which was founded almost 10 years ago, we have strived to help our colleagues in literary studies to work with new digital tools to pursue their research goals. So basically what we do is to use traditional approaches, but remediate them to the new digital medium. That is why we focus on such kind of traditional formats of literary studies like, for instance, digital editions, bibliographic databases, but also, in general, on the dissemination of outputs through extended monographs and open research environments. Finally, what we do is to try to harness new technologies to do research in literary studies, with the help of new insights provided by these technologies. In the course of those 10 years, we established fruitful collaborations with major European research infrastructures, such as DARIA, OPRAS, and Claring. We also collaborate with their national nodes. With Daria PL, we currently build a new research infrastructure for cultural data. With OPRAS, we cooperate on the European level by building the OPRAS Innovation Lab, so uh, trying to provide insights on how new innovative tools are used by researchers. And finally, we also collaborate with Clarin in applying uh, natural language processing tools to literary studies. We use them to uh, analyze literary texts. have a team of open science here, an open science team uh, at IBO Pan. And there are two projects that I would like to mention. There are two different platforms that are being built, quite different to each other. So one of them is a multilingual Go Triple platform with collaboration with the Operas uh, Consortium. And this will bring and aggregate different resources from different countries in several European languages. And then there's another platform that is more local with the Daria PL consortium that will bring together digital humanists from Poland specifically and allow them to share knowledge, to start collaboration, etc. The Latin Polonistyczny 
Polish Studies newsletter was a periodical published by the Institute of Literary Research of the Polish Academy of Science. Currently, the Polish Studies newsletter exists in a new online form, uh, maintaining its former character at substantive level. It's a networking tool for the humanities researchers, uh, research centers and uh, students worldwide. The latest achievement is uh, Geopolonistica, integrated the database with interactive lingual map, which try encourage more collaboration and strengthen uh, links between Polish studies uh, scholars abroad. We have created and we developed two platforms. One is for creating digital collections and monographs. And the second one is for digital editions. In on both fields, uh, we are an absolute leader in the Polish uh, humanities. We created many digital monographs. And we also are working on the edition of many corporal of literary texts. We have built a number of bibliographic services, uh, such as Bibliographic Service for Polish Literary Bibliography, it's pbl.ibl.vav.pl, which gathers the data on Polish literary culture. Our second uh, service is literarybibliography.eu, which is an aggregator for literary uh, bibliographic data around Europe which allows analysis, also data analysis of different people and topics within literary, European literary systems. We co-developed multilingual disciplinary vocabularies and thesauris, such as in the context of the triple project, and we contributed to a number of data-based research on literary systems. I was fascinated uh, by new technologies and their language, uh, digital tools. When I started working uh, at the Institute, there was no digital humanities center yet. I was missing a place uh, where I could uh, fully use my knowledge. It all started with my PhD. I was collecting data from social media and I realized that it's really interesting to see how other researchers are doing this. So what are the digital practices of um, other people? And this kind of meta research has been in my interest ever since. Well, originally, I'm a literary scholar and I became a digital humanist by a combination of coincidence, which was a new job opportunity and a strong interest in information science. To be honest, I never thought of myself as a digital humanist. I am primarily a literary researcher. Now, most of my work is digital literary research. The field I am interested in. I think the biggest achievement is that the team actually exists because we have an open science team right now at IBO PAN that is involved in several projects. Over those 10 years, uh, we established a pretty dynamic and large team of around 30 people working in different projects and, uh, and collaborating with other, also with the uh, local research and communities. And it's not only us people working in the community center, but also other literary scholars who, who, who join our team in different projects and we help them to, to build their own projects, editions, or, or to conduct the same research. The most important achievement is building an organization of people passionate about digital technologies who want to learn each and every day. Uh -huh.